League season 12 starts to run all the way to the very end. Is this the end of the line, though? We shall know. In due time, yo. All ready for this? Yes, and that is the one-man band of Harry Russell that yeah. you can rent on the weekends for your family occasions. I'll do it for compliments, man. Anything. Please, just make me feel good. And here we go. <laughs> We've got Fnatic. Over towards the B site, trying to feel fine as well. And it's already the dink onto Flusher, so he's probably had better days. But here comes this push. We got smokes going down. We got guys coming out upper. And I know you love it, but does Golden? That's the question. He's trying to line up these oh shots, God. but nothing's connecting. These Glocks just tearing through Fnatic. They keep on pushing. They keep the pressure on. What now, silence round. temporarily. Yeah, but very explosive. I like the usage, though, of these smokes just cutting the site in half, trying to force Fnatic to peek on over and then putting all your bodies up on upper. But Flusher and Brolin with two quick kills leaves Glaive Device and Magisk in this one. Brolin up close, and maybe it's personal as well, but it's down to a 1v2, oh. and Device gets the better of him. Estralis, they get that pistol round locked in. And something you said coming into this, Trace, was that this game has some big implications, and you couldn't be more right if you tried. Oh, really? Yeah, you actually got that oh. one dead on. If Word. Astralis win this, they guarantee themselves a playoff spot. They do. And if Fnatic end up losing this, then they cannot reach playoffs. That is certain. That is confirmed. By Harry Russell. By me, and also by the email I received this morning stating that. Yes, there's also that. So in a way, not my fault if it's wrong. Yes. Always a good thing to back up on, yeah. <laughs> it's a nice disclaimer you've thrown out there after having stated what has been Oh, yeah, but it, it's 100% it's right. But, like, if it is wrong, <laughs> I, <laughs> it was never my statement. That sounds like a Hugo Byron prediction. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Harry. <laughs> Demonic. All right. Anyway, out upper we go with Dup Dup and company. They're going to meet what is Flusha's CZ and a big grenade. That should be enough. Yep. Oh, Pretty out of the round. Flusha good for two. How? That creates an interesting dilemma. S tag looks for the plant. So far, it's gone okay, but 3v3. JW on his JW stuff. Majisk waiting for him at the top of ladder, but yeah, there it is. Ooh. Finally, Majisk gets some headway. And gets his head taken away. Uh, AK on the back line now. Device needs to turn around and deal with it. JW baiting shots, buying time, but time is ticking for Fnatic. Oh, Device. Uh, it's getting scary. There's a flash. Device not even blind, but he turns away regardless. And S tag gets run down by the uh, by the CZ. CZ of Flusher finds so much as well. Damage, dinks, the grenade onto Dupree, and Fnatic with a retake defuse mm. in the second for the skin of their teeth. Yeah, and there's not a whole lot of skin on your teeth, so I don't know how they pulled that one off, but damn it, they did it. Yeah, well, that saying's from, like, you know, like 20 years ago when there was more skin on the teeth. Yeah, man. Yeah, we bred that out. <laughs> you okay, Tracy, giving me those eyes? Uh, I ain't giving you no kind of eyes, man. If up to me, we'd all just be cat jamming along. Which is kind of what we're doing, actually, yeah. unless you're Astralis. There's be some head nods, but in dismay. He lose the second round, having won the first. What is this, Counter-Strike? Well, they're taking the spike over towards B. <laughs> We've got Brolin with the Vandal here in, in uh, U-Haul. I think that's one of the calls. I don't actually know any of the calls, oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, Brolin, ready and waiting. Now, we know that someone like Bobski, for example, you might have heard of him. He's like this Danish player. Sometimes you see him in the server for Astralis, I think, like once. Uh, he's really good in pop. And he's not here. So what does that matter? Brolin, line and wait. Not sure if you just answered yourself with a question or answered your own question. Let us know what I you think. I tried to do a bit of both, man. Use the hashtag ESL Pro League. <laughs> Question his answer. Yes. And then also question his answer about his own question. Well, Flusher, uh, he's questioning something. And he's questioning how much money. Oh, well done. That's the answer. He actually gets robbed over on upper. Golden holding down the site. It's the golden hold. And he's in with four as it all falls onto wow. Magis, the ace for Golden. 
And a second round locked in for Fnatic. How about it may have that? been Glaucs, but it's not really a worry. Golden runs them down, and even one of them had a, an SMG from the body of Flusher. Not a bad ace. Yes, it's Golden, the leader of the delinquents, known as Fnatic. They put up a second. This one's already tit for tat. They get the orb. Golden has 6k. He could uh, drop it right over if he wants. Smooth criminal inside of the B-bomb site. No orb today. Just crims on the scout. Stralis back to five rifles. I say back to. It's their first buy in this T side. Ooh, that's a well timed oh. name. Yeah, man, you talk about smooth criminals, but it's the uh, H <laughs> that they should have been worried about there over towards main. <laughs> wow. That's, that's a lot incredible. of damage. And now Astralis stacking up outside of this B site. Flusher going to heat things up a bit, but he does get tagged low, and they just go running through his Molotov, showing no respect to Flusher today as this B site falls into the ownership of Astralis. I just want to commend you for hitting the high note there. That was... Yeah, man, I really <laughs> think I nailed it. You've been practicing for that one for a minute, huh? I feel you, man. Very deep. Our Astralis re-smoking con. That's a problem, but Fnatic have to go through. Gold is climbing up behind. Do, uh, Dupree can't see him. JW coming through the connector at the right time. There's the flash. Doesn't do a thing. Device can't see in the smoke, though. He spams. He prays, and he gets away with one. And a bit of damage. s still here, but he fires off, and Flash responds. Low HP again on Astralis. That was an undoing on these Inferno retakes, but no retake today. Fnatic in with the save. It's too late. And Astralis find another two on the T side. Dupree just trying to get out alive. Oh. He does. All is well. Quickly, everyone, study devices whole life. Oh, oh. on camera. What we got? We got a Sarah. I saw that with a crying. I think it was finding of Isaac face above it. Above it, not with a th. You sign your name to that, or no? I didn't <laughs> sign my name to anything. No hell no. Oh, Merlin and Glaive have an awkward exchange over in the pop, and they just agree to go their separate ways. That little break up there was mutual. Nade now following up, doing some damage onto Magisk. He catches a second. And Astralis on the back of that utility. They decide, yeah, hey, it's cool and all, but you ever been to this other site called B? Astralis is like, yes, we have Magisk. We go there a lot. And that's a short story you can read about in my new book, co-wrote yeah. with Zonic. Oh, really? Yeah, well, I'm still waiting for him to sign off on it. But yeah, like, well, what's I sent the... him the book and... I was wondering about the premise. Just think about it for a second before you say anything further because I don't want to, you know, get you legally implicated in anything. Yeah. And with that notion, we look at Astralis. The same people that refuse to sign a book deal with Harry <laughs> have their set piece over here towards the inner site. Majisk is waiting on the ramp, 50 HP. He'll be the first to go out. Debbie behind him, has tag as well. Look at Flusha. He's already ready for it. He turns, but not for that last flashbang. And they see him up there. Magist, he's good for it. Golden only good for one. Should be a bomb plant. Relative ease for Astralis. Yeah, these mollies and connector have been great. They burn JW down to 24, and he's not going to be able to get away with a kill. Crims, though, making things interesting. Tempting Fnatic back into the site. JW and Brolin have gone for the full CT wrap round to get control back. Device. Tucked in behind Gray, not peeking, not giving away a kill. Oh, I say that. He peeks. He gives away a kill. JW snatches it back. Astralis still have a player in up, but Glaive is about to get jumped on. Crims getting an angle. This could fall apart. S tag. Buying time. JW gets a shot, and Glaive goes back down to lower. Oh, oh dear. Time is ticking for JW. He needs to get on that bomb, and J uh, Glaive denies it. Crims said he had his upper, and he wasn't lying. But Glaive coming from behind and now running away. It's going to be Astralis finding a third on the T side. And Glaive lives through that, too. He lives to tail the tail. Tail as old as time. Denmark versus Sweden. 
Yeah, Flusher, he, he, he's on top of Grey, close for the ramp play. He dodges the flash, and then Astralis come in with a really late flash as well that blinds him. Then Crims throws one high, and Flusher eats that as well. He gets triple bash flanged on top of the train, and Astralis they have no issue getting rid of him. Do love a good bash flanging. Right, we got Doop Doop in this server, and we need to see Dub Dub. He's out through main. He lose device, but this is where Dupree enters the realm and starts to put up some numbers. JW, hidden, over here. Mine and wait. Bomb's already going down, though, and JW still just waiting. It's not baiting, because he's playing for a knife. Crouching JW, hidden flusher. <laughs> Krems on an AK. This looks like an attempt at some netting, some exit kills. Unless someone from a straw slips up right here, right now, and gives it up. And that's just not what happens. Four on the board for the Denmark side. Danish, even. Denmark, Danish. You know, it we all knew what you meant. No one, no one was like, man, who's he on about there? <laughs> I think Mark. Did. Yeah, man. Fnatic still with money. Yeah. Wise investments, wise saves across all three of these rounds Astralis have picked up. Rush with the orc, perhaps? No, just a CZ. Taking a light and breezy. Rifles on the rest, and Astralis still running out main, still doing what they do. Do pretty fast as well. Smoke down on the five lane. Golden's taken Ivy's pushed it as well. Nade is deep device. Oh, he catches him as the smoke <laughs> blooms. And Dupree, he's all the way behind as well. No one on Ivy. Dupree could go right through that smoke right here, right now. Oh dear. Crimson is back turned. Dupree needs the timing. And he's spotted three players. Oh dear. Oh. Missed shot. Has to take one. Now he knows about the man in the sandwich as well. But JW somehow living and taking down Device. Dupree's doubled up in the site. JW is the only man. They haven't cleared out. Molly out of position and up on top of the train. Dupree is waiting in the heavens. And Russia now alone. Yeah, Dupree wins that round right there. And you know what? It got pretty scary, too. You, you take your first couple shots, they don't land. You're like, well, this could go south. But it only goes south for Fnatic. Strauss net a bomb plant, flush on his own. Left to his own devices, you might even say. And well, his devices just simply won't work. The flank from Dupree was like a real roller coaster of emotions. Right? Like it went from yeah. great to smoked off to great again to terrible to four. <laughs> it was it was it was very, very back and forth, but yeah, Dupree making the best out of that scenario gets away with the round for Astralis. And now back down to these pistols here for Fnatic. Bit of armor behind them, but other than that, they're basically in the nude here. Up against the fall by over on the Danish side. Golden and Flusher. These two, quite the duo over at B. Even if it is only with these pistols. Yeah, you can't say only and then talk about Flusher's CZ. That has done some dastardly stuff in the past. And it may do again, but re-smoked on B. Astralis can't commit. I mean, they can, but they don't want to. They know the pressure's not on them on this anti-eco round. With a minute on the clock, they look, can wait. Look at JW. Look at him on this adventure. Sneaky. He's having a great time, but Majeski hates adventure. Yeah, JW, hope you had a good time in our spawn. Goodbye. One of those were like, holy crap, he's in spawn. <laughs> oh my God. And now you're worrying, like, how many more of them yeah. are there in these positions? So Majeski, he's like going on a, on like jump scare training here as he's checking all these close angles. Now, this is all like a pretend build up to a jump scare that's never going to arrive. Back in the site, there is Brolin. That's the scariest of them all. But Magis makes quick work of him. And now A belongs to the guys with an A at the start of their name, of course. 
Yeah, I like that round for Astralis, right? They set up for the execute. It was just going to be a full five man Ooh. out out into B and, and go for whatever you can there. But when the second smoke comes down, Astralis go, okay, well, that's two smokes on B. I don't like this. There could be a stack. This is a low economy round. Let's go regain some lost control. And so they go back through spawn. They clear everything out. They kill JW pushing Ivy on the meantime, which did actually allow for that B stack. His position, him clearing T-spawn for only a moment, put three on B and a 1.4 for Fnatic. They go back into A, but Astralis are already out main and they'll get the round done and dusted. That's a nice little uh, anti-eco for Astralis, not walking into the stack and dealing with the pistols that can be so problematic. Five in a row. Fnatic coming back in with guns, though. You can already see double orb for Flusher and JW as well. More the merrier on a map like Train. Will Astralis beat them at their own game? Well, they have one, of the, uh, one AWP as well. Yep, Device has got his. And so we do have that head-to-head -head going up Ivy early. That's where JW is. Yeah, Smoke's outside. They're going to leave the bomb in the backfield just in case they need to reverse back. No point in giving it up too early. This utility battle between Brolin and S-Tag is great. Oh, S-Tag did hit him there. Caught him with a stray bullet down through Pop, but that hasn't deterred young Brolin. Uh, oh, that's uh, rather that's... unfortunate for us. Yeah. <laughs> does get opt in what was a fadeaway. It's going to prompt a smoke to go down lower for the Fnatic side. That's not going to scare Astralis, though. They're going to continue to work that angle, work that inner sight. Oh, lovely. Wow. That's fast from Brolin, man. Yeah, cat doesn't even catch magic on like the drop. He's just throwing a Molotov. He's just peeking forward. Device does fall in, though. Molly by his teammate, and he runs right through it, trying to trade JW oh. above the train. Device in a clutch. Oh, dear. And already. The birds are flocking. They're rotating into the site. JW's oh. jumped. Device knows, but now the Ivy push coming in from Flusher as well. Device is so deep. And he's got the oh. flick. Is he ready for Flusher? Going for the tap. 20 seconds. Flusher in the back, and this should be a free kill. It is. Fnatic find the round. Nice try from Device. Ooh. Uh, no, no, no. Oh, no, no. 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 Flusher throws Flusher. the orb to Golden and then loses the one that's above the train. Golden doesn't even grab the one that he dropped. It's calculated. Look at the shot, though. Anything but. Yeah, that's well, two that, warps lost. Yeah, that's devastating. The money I don't even think is there to reinvest in another. So, oof. That's a bit of a blunder. Yeah, they're going to be talking about that one for a long time. Look what it's done. The revenge <laughs> team has spawned as two well. Two MP9s. <laughs> and yeah, now Shadow, he's been stabbed in the back. Oh. Why'd you die on top of the train? Oh, oh device those. absolutely wipes out JW. Crims will respond, and Brolin still holding the line. Golden chiming in with another, but Device, they've awoken the beast and they might wish they hadn't. He's in with a double. And double trouble now as Glaive moves his way up through Ivy. Device has retrieved this bomb and there's nobody to challenge outside of these players in the site. Glaive does make quick work of Brolin. And now this bomb plant can look to come through. They're still worried about a pop play, so they're looking like they want to take this. They're going to set up. With a player watching pop, there's nobody here for Fnatic, but it looks like Flush is on his way there, perhaps. It's too long to rotate on a flank, yeah. though. Like, you'd have to be super loud about it, so Flush has got to join with his team. Well, Device opened this round out. Glaive was there to assist him every step of the way. And now, brothers in arms, and this two-on-two -two with the bomb down, planted for main and Ebox. They are in the best position possible right now. Flusher does get out, but shortly after gets dropped, and it's all left on to Crims. He knows where one of these two players are, but the fights just aren't being given over. Oh. They're teasing him. They're playing with his mind, and Device is there to put the nail in the coffin. Seven on the board for Astralis as they pull off that 2v4 between the two of them. Yeah. Oh, that one round for Fnatic where they lose all their guns but one, that has had such devastating effect. And you know, it'll be interesting. Should we get that opportunity, or rather, should Fnatic win the game and we are given the opportunity to talk to them? I'm sure that'll be something we can bring up because... I don't think they want to talk about it, Trace. <laughs> uh, well, <laughs> that's Nacho problem. Yeah. Device is shotgun orping in the yard right now, running out, climbing trains flicking, 
He's doing everything we want from him. Dupree back in main. Double Ivy setup. Device included. That's a shot hit by Crims, but not the killing blow. Dupree does eat a nade, though, on the retreat. JW can creep up and grab that gun. There's no one here to stop him. Two in the pop, two on the Ivy. It's a bit of the old splitteroo onto this A site, but S tag catching Brolin and getting caught by the AK in May. Flash has spotted the two players down Ivy who will retreat, one of which Device hangs on with the orb waiting for a repeat, but only for a little bit. J oh, Flasher comes in late and realizes it's clear. Look at the aggression. He is so ready for this. He's going to full flank them on T-Spawn. They have to get out of this long angle now as Glaive has already taken B, just missing the timing to Golden, but he could catch the rifle instead. JW's moving in and Glaive free kill but he's not going to be ready for the man in the sight nades out golden bites back and now it's a two on two and they still don't know about the flank from flusher this is weird this is odd this he's is running. a weird one but they've just heard him device is waiting and oh no flusher he sneaks all down round and ends up getting shot in the back of the head by device it's all left on to golden to stand and deliver one v two smoke down he's going to push through it gets aggressive but oh. there's Magis with the wide swing, reads him like a book. And Astralis, they put eight on the board. This is very, very one-sided thus far. And there's something to say about it, though, with Fnatic and sort of the space they're able to take and given opportunities. Yeah, okay, yeah. I mean, I, so it's like immediately after I said this is one-sided, I kind of regretted that statement. It's of like the scoreline is one-sided, but it does feel like Fnatic, they've been making a lot of these rounds very, very competitive. And that's like, it's one of these things where it's like, that's all well and good, right? But if you don't actually start getting rounds eventually, you're going to remember this is the game that you get blown out the water on in terms of the scoreline, but all the rounds were close, you know? And it's like, yeah, that's still good. But for Fnatic, it, this isn't some game happening right at the beginning of the season, right? They need this win to stay within earshot of still being able to reach playoffs. And if they don't, then that, that's out the window. And suddenly, you know, they're just... They're just competing to not completely lose out. As Astralis, they'll be guaranteeing themselves a playoff position. So, yeah, in a sense, like, the pressure's definitely on for Fnatic in a very big way. Double orb. Don't drop the ball this time, Fnatic. They need these guns, and they need them to find success. Brolin flashed into Olaf. Olden's solo inner. Flash has taken this orb in the yard. He's playing that connector rotate role. JW back to his usual antics on Ivy. Vice will be joining him again. JW posted a little passive, smoking it off. Crimson and hold on to Pop Dog. No one's there yet for Astralis. They're taking their time with their own Molotov going down. Glaive might fall into it. One of the classics, right? You throw a Molly and your teammate falls in, knowing they take less damage from team utility. But not today. Smoked off. Uh, no bother. Astralis want nothing to do with it. They set up for an inner take. Flush has come in on rotation here to join. Brolin's got that info from main. And there is an Ivy Lurk on Majisk. Will he throw utility or will he be silent and try and sneak in on this flank when Fnatic have all rotated? Obviously, that relies on two things. One of two things. Either Astralis having an open bomb plant, which is very difficult to achieve on train, or them stalling long enough that he can actually find success. He's being loud about it. Flusher watching upper. Should be a shot for him, but he misses it over flicking Golden. Dropped in the air by Dupree. And Flusher now needs something desperately. They're running him down. He's so blind. JW the same in the connector. Default plant. Magic on the Ivy Luck. He's so low, but it's not a worry. He kills another man. And Flush is just waiting for this aggression to, about to come. S tag and Glaive. It's like they're asking oh, to get collateral. Flusher in with it. A double. Now a two on three. Flusher might have given them a fighting chance. And in comes Crims. He's playing the trigger discipline. Oh, Dupree's got no idea. Now tapping the bomb. It falls to Device because Magisk is so far away. And a missed shot. Flusher now on the angle. And oh, Magisk running as fast as he can. Damage done. But no. Flusher there. What wow. a round from Flusher. And I was thinking the whole time that S tag and. <gasps> Oh, they get it! Oh my God. <laughs> they get it! Oh. oh, what a round! What an absolute mess! And I was thinking, as I was saying, like the moment I see S Tag and Glaive like this, I'm thinking they are asking to get skewered by Flush's Orp, and that's what <laughs> happens.
Oh my goodness. He even drops the orb as well. They save them both this time. Everything lines up, not just the opponents, but the weapon pickups as well. And Magis on the flank as well, right? Like that round was lost once Device got orbed on upper. Even if Magis won the fight, the defuser would have just stuck it and that would have been Fnatic winning it. But Flusher even turns round against the spray and hits an orb flick. What a beast. And immediately you've lit up the server. You've lit up Astralis and they want more. They're back with a vengeance. Dupree with an opening kill onto Brolin. Up Ivy they go. It's been smoked off every time. They don't care. They don't respect it. They go right through it. Right past JW who's run back to the bomb train. Flusher on that CT rotate. He could be in the back lines again. Astralis already out on the site though and no one even realized. No one considering it. JW with a kill. He's already down. And uh, Magis with a double. Flusher, he's finally made it here. He might be able to stop the bomb crossing but that's the best you can hope for. Missed shot. Backing up. Now the line's contained by Astralis, and ooh, a flick down to one <laughs> HP. Watch out for those flashbangs. Man, Fosher, he's so damn stylish, but he's one HP. Like, surely, right? They might have won the last 2VX. I think it was a 2v5 in the end. But this one, surely you're asking too much, right? One HP Flusher. s tag could finish him off with a bit of utility, but he doesn't have any. Golden out on the bomb train, sneaking up with this famous might blindside S tag or Dupree rather Ooh. up here on the bomb train. There's Golden with the swing, but from the pop dog, S tag is there to keep it under control. This is a crazy matchup, but yeah, hey, it's getting more and more one sided. It's getting more and more favorable for Astralis. His Ivy Lurks have been great, right? Dupree coming up Olaf earlier in the round and doing the same. And then this time, Madge is just walking through JW's Ivy smoke. And like when you throw down a smoke like that, a lot of the times you're just going to go, okay, mentally, you're going to resign that position to being clear or covered at least because people often respect the smokes, but Astralis have enough and they go right through it. I saw Gaul is on fan cams as well. Shout out him. Astralis, man, they're like uh, they're like the alien from Predator, you know? They like a bit of fight in here. This is all for sport for them. And here they go, out through the pop. They burn out Golden. They've got the advantage. Now they spill into this site. Flusher above the pop dog. Bit of damage onto S tag, but nothing more than a passing blow. And that there is the bomb going down. The alarm bells ring in for Fnatic. They've partial bore into this. They were hoping for a little bit more. And it looks like this should be Ted on the board for the Danes. Sneaky. Oh, yeah. And a knife, of course. Well, well you know, if uh, if Astralis... Oh, oh hang on okay. a minute. Hello. I got a second. Wait, wait. But, hey, wait. They're fighting no. back, but Glaive here <laughs> to try and lay it all to rest, get it back under control. And there he is, returning us to normality. Wouldn't be a normal round, though, without a Fnatic knife. It had to come through eventually. We had one from Flusher to open up this series on round one of Nuke. But right now, this one in the train yard is looking good for the Danes. 10-4 up, final round of the half of Fnatic. They've got the money, thanks to JW. He made a bit of cash in that one. Flusher falling through the air in pop as well with a CZ kill. Just dirty stuff. And the double orb is back out again. I want to see more from Flusher on this weapon, right? He has been a bit of a star. But that's funnily enough exactly where Astralis are heading. Right to the stars and they're going to go fast into the pop dog. Dupree beating Brolin to the punch. He's already pushed past the ladder before Brolin's even in. Deep for 30 damage as you do, Glaive. Lives to fight another day, and Astralis, they just group B. They're going to go for the execute. Only Flusher here with the orb, and this is a hard site to hold on your own. And he's not even really holding it, right? He's just going for kills at the back of CT. You can't put a stop to the bomb plant, surely. Flusher jumping, missed shot again. Surely can't go back for more. They're all trained on his position. He's going to let them cross and drop into the site. Already way past him. High flash, Flusher dodges, goes back for more. Above the oil, not for long. And Flusher has bought time for this retake. Crimp to the another. Flusher falls off the curb and Dupree swaps weapons to avoid the reload. Device waiting behind Gray and Dupree's pushed up again. The smokes are down and Astralis are going to use them to their advantage. Oh, Dupree, forward angle, Golden gets the better of him. Device and Glaive left in the two on three. And Glaive challenging it. Upper gives the fight over to Crims. It falls to Device to hold on. There's one. Oh, oh. fully blind on the follow-up. And now JW oh. gets his revenge. The defuse is going to come on in, but there's no kit. There's no kit. Device. Oh, no. He's 
retrieved it, but there's not enough time. It's an 11th on the board for the Danes. All the kills in favor of Fnatic, but Astralis, they 11 for the half regardless. This game has been wild. The second half, the culmination of this series right around the corner, and you don't want to miss it. Let the scoreline confuse you because this one is hot, and I mean we hot. That's right, the SL Pro League Season 12. Harry, Hugo, and myself, we are ready to jump back into the last half play of the evening. And I'm not sure who just yelled in the background, but they feeling hot too. We've got collaterals, we've got it all. We've got diffuses, games being played, cats and dogs living together, mass pandemonium in the server. Swedes and Danes living together even. Not, not together, they're against each other right now. It's a battle for blood and for the playoffs as well, most specifically for Fnatic fighting for survival, looking to get that playoff spot. This win it's would true. keep them in contention, but right now it's slipping through their fingers. Astralis looking to lock in a top spot alongside Complexity. We'll see if it's that easy. Odds certainly say the story, but we know Fnatic have a few T rounds to show us here. It all starts with the pistol. Isn't that right, Mr. Russell? Yes, indeed. A Crim's there to open everything up with his Glock. Not 
that big Glock opener. And now, smoke down the ramp. Want to just execute into B, keep it simple. But device here atop the train leaves us in a four on four. And there's a bit of help from S-Tag, who's just come alive, hasn't he? In with a double. Flusher gets the bomb down, but Crims is a long way from this B site. And so Flusher needs to stay alive. If he dies, the round is over. He's trying to buy time for this rotation from Crims, but they are closing the distance on him. There's Dupree taking him out of the round. Crims left all alone up here at upper. They're already on the bomb. They're already defusing. They know that Crims is here. And there's the lock-in from Dup Dup. 12 on the board for the Danes. Or Duppington strikes again from his high tower. It's 12 to 4 <laughs> for Astralis. Uh, and yes. that was the pistol that could have put Fnatic back in this game. Not to say there's not a chance at this point, but that's going to leave you lacking rifle rounds on your T side. Although, forced by Wars. Hello, Fnatic. Coming in with a big buy in the second. Stralis, they won their T-side pistol. Fnatic won with a CT force as well, starting those wars early. So they want to do it once again. The Lils, not quite AKs in the second round, but they want grenades. So this is a war about forces and a team trying to go to the stars. I wonder if there's something there. D3. Only good for one. Trying to forge something of this round. Bit of a Smith Lord. Sprolin gets into the site. Peeking over the smoke, oh. and he just secured this bomb site single handedly. Magis dropped as well. S Tag left alone, and they're all around it. They got a bit of a bone to pick with S Tag. Five on the board for Fnatic as the four spy does come in in favor of the Swedes. Where there's one force, there's often another. The midichlorian count just off the charts right now in the server. We got Deagles on everyone apart from Glaive because he likes to be a cool alternative guy. He's gone for the 5-7. I like the pacing of Fnatic. It is uh, yeah, very slow, but they're holding. They want to see what Astralis bring to the table in this round. And not much. Astralis recognize the default, and they don't want to walk into anything. They might gamble, though. Look at this rotate towards B. Four players setting up. Maybe even five. Glaive has a smoke on A to stall. Astralis trying to read into Fnatic's setup, but it's definitely not right right now. Fnatic's still in spawn with the bomb, and two coming back from B. Brolin peeks out main. Just lining up those execute smokes. They can always get a bit scary when pistols are on the other side, right? Darting through with flashbangs. Fearless rounds, really, for players like Glaive, who only has a 5-7. He, he can afford to just get in the face. Fnatic, I like that they smoke on top of the bomb train. That's important because so many players use that right side bomb train smoke as a one-way and fight as Glaive was looking to do before he got smoked off. Hang on a moment. All rotate. No, Harry, don't call it again. Is this another unicorn round? Surely not. Two in one series? Nah, I don't believe it. Nah, no way. I don't believe it. I think Device is the kind of guy to rid us of that of that statement. You're saying he's getting a kill or he's dying? Well, you know, I'll we'll have to wait and see. Maybe. Oh, no, surely not. Surely not. Oh, dear. It's a time of peace in the server. Everybody's just trying to get out alive. Some would even call this the golden era, right? Everyone's peaceful, everything's fine. Six on the board for Fnatic. And yeah, there's a bit of damage to the property here inside of A, but people matter more. And all 10 stay alive in the server. And wow, that Brolin with 74, oh sorry, 51 damage in that round there. MVP, heads up, straight up. Damn, dude, zero kills. Pacifist strikes again. Well, he doesn't really strike. No. 
12-6. Quite the lead for Astralis, right? Still an eco as they wait for the last bonus to boost. And Fnatic, they are going to run right into this ace side. Magis with the opener. Oh dear, do they get dicey now is the big question. We're all wondering. Magis looking for more. Glaive above the train. Oh, that's an angle and a half. Magis swinging. He's got golden as well. This could all fall apart for Fnatic. They need to tie this one up. Devices on the rat plans who spawn from Ivy. Magis with a third. This guy is not stopping, but finally fire puts him down. Flush are waiting for the flank. And S-Tag ain't biting. Oh, and Device with the main wrap. This could be chaotic. This standoff between Flusher and S-Tag decides so much. And I hope S-Tag doesn't get antsy and try and, you know, take a peek. Because that's how this can fall apart. Right now, you've got Flusher trapped. He's stuck in this cage in Pop Dog. And that's exactly what you want. Device, the longer he waits in this position, the longer S-Tag waits, the more valuable these angles become. Brolin is desperately looking for any sign of information. And this is great. Astralis, man, this is perfect. This is exactly what they need to do. They're not moving because they're not the ones that need to get a bomb down. They're not the ones that need to get a plant. And even though Brolin has flanked all the way in, you're hoping that his kill throws like disarray into the ranks of Astralis and he's not going to get anything from it. <gasps> Device missing that shot and that could mean absolutely everything here. It means the bomb gets into the site, but from the heavens, Glaive with the 5-7 leaves it all on Brolin wow. and S-Tag is there to lock it in. I thought so. I mean, it looks good. It looks yeah. cool. I was convinced for about a split second. What's crucial about that is the Glaive goes heaven, right? Because he was connected. He was uh, able to be flanked by Brolin, who wrapped CT Ivy and came in through spawn. He, he just clears connector. And at that point, Flusher's like, okay, well, we haven't seen them anywhere. Like, Flusher knows there's someone above him pop at that point. There has to be. And he even reads the main player. Oh, well, it doesn't read the main player, but kills the main player. And yeah, just crazy stuff. Glaive in heaven denying the plant. Golden Eater Nade is also a molly. He's got to run through it and the fire plus the bullets. That's a deadly combination. Dupree will dish out to Golden. Oh, on top of the pallet, Dupree ducks down and avoids a bit of a haircut from Crims. Orp on Majisk, not who you'd always expect, but let's see what he can do. Magisk waiting patiently. Will his patience be rewarded, though? JW and Crims on the other side of the uh, the Ivy corner. It's going to be a double. Magisk. Three. This is it. This Two. is the moment. Crims waiting. One. It's a standoff. Nine. Who breaks the tension first? Zero. Not yet. We wait. And, and then we wait some we more. We wait. But eventually... Someone's got to take this peak. Oh, man. Magisk, the oh. timing oh. might be terrible. Oh. And there's the peak from JW. Now they get out Ivy. Try and get into A. Dupree and Glaive in the sight. Now just Ooh. Dupree and Krim takes his head off. In comes the rotation from Device, who gets his hand back on that AWP. And this is where he says to Magisk, let me show you how it's done. Not an easy retake, though, especially not with an AWP. And the kit's on S tagging connector. He's watching Inner right now. Are they even going to go for this? Device looking for a kill. Pop player ready to swing on Crims' contact. This is a good setup. Even if Device were to kill Crims right now, he is going to get traded from Brolin. And so, smart call back up. Give it up. Fnatic on seven. Building into this T side. Slow and steady wins the race. It's not a sprint, it's a marathon. What other polarizing statement could I say? Who knows? But regardless, it's Fnatic building. Polarization now. Look, a grill. Bit of a barbecue. And it certainly was down Olaf. Oh yeah, definitely that. Molotov's everywhere. Majisk does break that down that wall, at least, of holding down Ivy. Crims is happy, you just can't tell. Well, a tactical timeout comes in from Astralis, 13 to seven. They're right at the finish line. But we do have a yellow flag being waved currently.
Palpatine. Emperor now. In three main they go. Fnatic. Ooh. Try and play with Magisk and Pop Dog, but he's not about sharing his toys just yet. Takes a nade and there's the peek from Flusher. <laughs> yeah. Pop belongs to Fnatic. Dupree with the spray. Good for two. Device chiming in with another. Oh, oh and a hey. second for Device. Get out of there. Device, Why Device? He's up. doubled up, man. Golden. All alone running into this B site. And he's going to get the bomb down at least and a chance at a 1v2. Yeah, crucial timing right here. He drops the smoke, and then he lets goes towards oil. It's a 2v1. And Device and S-Tag have to play this one down to perfection. Golden sets up for the shot on the S-Tag first. Doesn't find it, doesn't matter. 14 on the board for Astralis. This defuse should come in. Unless they pull some sort of G2 maneuver. Which is not the case. All that for a smoke. Device ran to A to try and pick up things off the floor off of that battleground. Found a smoke, so $300 for free. Astralis, they are saving every penny they can. Uh, this game has got legs on it, so a good reason. I mean, 14 found, though. You know, Hugo, have you ever killed a scav? You would, you would appreciate, you know, looting stuff off. Is the that a Tarkov reference? It might be. Yeah, man, all yeah, right, all right. I what that was. You played Tarkov, Harry? I mean, I like Tarkov, yeah. I'm, man, a, I'm, I I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a big survival games fan, man. Yeah, that's why we play Green Hell. But will Fnatic survive this game because Astralis, 14-7, hey. to 7, two away from a lock-in series, but I've, we've seen some brutal entries on this T side. Fnatic have had some well-spaced executes, right? Unfortunately, when you have well-spaced executes, you often see what Dupree does best, mowing down multiple kills on this A site. He's so good at that. Sitting E-box, just... Oh, wait. That was a really, yeah, I was going to say, that was, that, <laughs> that, was, that was weak, uh, wasn't it? Shooting uh, blanks. Oh, here is Dupree, Dupree with the burr. <laughs> JW, he's trying to go burr as well, but right Whoa. now, barreling down, it's S-Tag in the B site. Dupree keeps that A site under lock and key, but it falls to Dupree and me and Glaive in this 2v3. They deal with one, but Golden... Wasn't able to win out the 1v2 last time around. He's given a replay. He's given the same round again. And this time he plays it differently. He's learned from his mistakes. We see now. Is Golden just a regular guy? Or is he a self-learning AI? Well, this camera angle makes me think AI, I'll be honest. But this one changes my decision. Just a young Swede up to no good. Really Healing about on the A site. Dupree, is he going to wait? Surely not. The fake and all oh, the duck. Oh dear, Golden. He's going to try and chase down this kill a little bit. Doesn't want to swing too wide. Dupree has his number backed up, backed off, and safe and secure is Astralis. Match point right now. This is Fnatic's playoff contention going out the window at 60 miles per hour. Not 70, not 80. Definitely zooming on by. A little bit of elation there from S-Tag. If you stick around, you might get the opportunity to hear from him. Or perhaps someone from Astralis, provided they can put up just one more round. And that's the thing. We know that's the real reason they're winning this, right? They love talking to us. In these <laughs> that's exactly what it Obviously, is. Obviously. Yeah. The prize, it's us three. And you can hardly blame them for fighting this damn hard. Astralis, <laughs> they lose Magisk early on. Device. He's eager to listen to Trace's dulcet tones. Hey, you watch head. your mouth. Device. Here comes the push. Both there. And there's the no. double down no. -uh. for Deve. Nope. Man advantage taken by the Danes. Crims trying to dig Fnatic out of this hole. But the problem with digging your way out of a hole is that you often dig deeper. S-Tag, he's going to try and dig deep as well up here. Ready and waiting, not taking the peek onto Upper and Crims, edging his way ever closer to the danger zone on the highway to it. In fact, S time, Whoa. there's the timing and the peek, oh but Crims going to win it with the Deagle. That's opened up the door for the B play. Fnatic, this was a four spy up against 15 to try and keep the dream alive. And Brolin with the one way, bit more damage onto Dupree. 
Oh, Crims gets aggressive, though. He's caught Glaive. Dupree swinging back with that kill. And Astralis is saving low HP and money on the line. They don't want to risk it all here and now. They'd rather close it out in the follow-up. The reason S-Tag is so scared there of, um, of the site is he's the solo B player, but he's not in a position to stop any kind of ramp crawl. And so he's just hiding back at the spools, waiting, looking at the tracks on the ground, hoping someone gets aggressive from Fnatic. But it was Crims creeping up a bit of a rarity to see. And a miss spray for S-Tag. Puts Fnatic in that B-bomb site. Brolin drops that one-way smoke that is just so... It's so Brolin, man. When the, when the Krieg was at its all-time high, you would see him coming down B-ramp in any situation, smoking there or even closer towards Grey and just one-waying uh, his Krieg scope into connector. Device, how does he double up there? They pin him back in the corner. They get him low. And Device still holds on. It's not a round one, though. Fnatic, keeping it going, never slowing. Match pause. This is not of the tactical variety to our knowledge, but it's also not very long lasting. Neither was the music, neither is the pause. Right back into the action. So Astralis have somewhat all in this, but also not fully all in it. They've like half in it. Oh. Vice saving some money for an orb, and they've still got these rifles in play from the round prior. And they've already lost one of them on Glaive's back. Magic spotted, sprayed by Crims, but he's able to win that. And S-Tag has fast flanked B. Deary me, it can't be how this all falls apart. Brolin's low, but not able yeah. to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Dupree. And there's S-Tag to round it out. The partial buy gets it done for the Danes. They guarantee a slot in the pot.